Mikkel, what changed in just those last five minutes of the game when the Clippers went on the run? Um, they was playing harder. They adjusted. They went small and read everything and kept their thing in front. So, Was there anything that they did that allowed that slowed it down for you guys offensively or it made it difficult to get back to that offensive rhythm that you guys were having? Yeah, they went small, read everything, and then we were stuck. They didn't know what to do, what to, you know, how to break it. Coming back into this locker room overall, just what was the message of the team, you know, to end the road trip like this? Um, it's got to be better um, for, for the whole 48, but get home, get ready for another one. By going small, how did that get you guys out of playing with the pace you had for those three and a half quarters? Uh, they just, well, first we were getting stops. They was in a bonus pretty early, and uh, they were just running everything, keeping everything in front, boxing and elbows. When this deep in the season, I mean, obviously there's always going to be runs. That's what the NBA is. But for a game to finish like that, whatever, 22 to nothing or what have you, how disappointing is it that you guys couldn't really even staunch that a little bit, even with timeouts and such? Yeah, yeah, it's just things. You just, it's just got to be better. Definitely not fun. What was the, uh, what was the messaging in here after that? I mean, who was the loudest voice, I guess? Um, we just got to be better. Um, Main thing was just, you know, you know, them going to run, you know, be able to get out of it and uh, playing with the juice the whole 48. This trip kind of started with the last second loss in Portland. And if the game like this is just uh, not incredible, but this is just amazing, not even amazing, but just the way that these losses are coming to just hitting even harder, just how gut punching they seem to be getting. Um. Yeah, I mean, we just got to know when to adjust, how to adjust, and uh, just, just got to play the game, the whole game. Mikhail, as a leader of this team, like, how have you tried to manage the overall ups and downs of the season with the group? Um, I mean, it's part of it. It's part of life, part of the game. Just got to uh, just got to know you gave it all out and know you're playing the right way, and uh, just got to be ready for the next one. Jock was saying you guys have made some strides defensively these last few games since Paris. Even even with this loss, can you maybe take that away from this trip that defensively those things are still there that you guys can build on? Um, yeah, I mean, we definitely got better defensively. Um, we just got to learn how to put it together, all 48. Jock talked beforehand. He was talking about you as a leader in here and, you know, how it's a, how it's a growing process for you. Are you the sort that would – stand up and say something after a game like this, or is that not really your style? Um, sometimes it's tough to know what's what a lot is happening when the game's going. You know, usually it's good to rewatch towards the end. But uh, I don't know, I feel like playing hard. We just, just in the run, just got to know how to stay poised. And, uh, you know, that's the main message, just to stay with it. And them adjusting, we got to know how to adjust back. and. Um, you know what to do when they adjust. Been a part of a game like that where you guys were up 16-0, feel like you guys were a couple steps ahead the rest of the way, and then all of a sudden it just changed like that. Sorry. Um, maybe I'm not sure. I can't tell you if there was another game, but yeah, nah, I'm not sure.